How's it going guys? So I'm gonna show you one of the very first steps I do when I get a business idea to take it out of kind of the creative right brain mode and validate it with some left brain data. It's using keyword research and a few simple tools. It takes about 10 minutes. It's a great first step to take on your ideas. Okay, great, so you have an idea. Um, you know, first, most people just kind of ponder that idea for a little bit. The next step is you likely Google it. A big mistake that I hear people doing is they're Googling it to see if it already exists. That's a good first step, kind of, because a lot of times people will Google something, see it already exists, and then be like, oh no, it already exists, I can't do it. But it already existing could actually be validation for your idea because if it already exists and it's not done that well you can do it better or if there's only one or two out there you know there's probably room for more it's a pretty big world if it doesn't already exist that could be a good thing perhaps you have this super unique idea that no one else has thought of but it also could actually be a red flag if it doesn't exist because that could mean that other people have had the idea and decided it's not worth pursuing it essentially you know, maybe there's not enough demand, or perhaps there's not a good end customer. It's not monetizable. So it's like, yes, you could do this thing and it is a decent idea and perhaps it would maybe even be helpful, but is it viable? Is it a good business? So it not existing can actually be more of a red flag than it existing. So now that we kind of got the, uh, you know, the basic premise of Googling something out of the way, Obviously that's a good way to do it, but I'm gonna tell you how to Google smarter and use keyword research tools to kind of find out if there's already demand out there as well, not just if there's already companies out there. This isn't the end all be all of if you should move forward with your idea. You know, true market validation is usually when you have some sort of minimum viable product that you can show to end users, you can get feedback. Uh, that comes a little bit later in the stage. You know, again, you've built that minimum viable product, an MVP or, you know, you have a bit more than just an idea. This is kind of uh, idea validation, I like to call it, instead of market validation. And I use two tools. One is Google, and the other is a Chrome extension that goes in your Google browser called Growth Bar. And Growth Bar is awesome. It's essentially a keyword research tool that is super easy to learn and gives you about 90% of the data that you need to do some decent keyword research. And particularly for this case, just decide if an idea is worth pursuing. So first, Let's think of a hypothetical idea. This is actually an idea that I've been kind of thinking about. The idea is electric surfboards. I see these things out on the water and they're awesome. You're just like, whoa, what is that guy doing? I kind of think they self-market themselves. Uh, when you see somebody floating through the water, either above the water on an e-foil or down below on an electric surfboard, it seems like it could be the next jet ski. Okay, so first thing, you know, I open up a Google window here on my computer and I type in electric surfboard. As you can see, I've already done this. Now, get my basic Google results, but you'll see something different. I have Growth Bar installed, and as I said, Growth Bar is awesome. So Growth Bar it is what is giving me this keyword difficulty score here, and it's what's giving me the search volume for certain terms. Um, this is the term I Googled, electric surfboard. It's telling me that 9,900 people a month are searching electric surfboard. Um, then here are some related keywords, what they're also searching. You know, if it's someone that's trying to learn about this subject, we'll get more into related keywords later in kind of a keyword research video. Um, for now, just know that, you know, it's good to have more related keywords because that means there's more things out there that you could write articles on, etc. But we're just trying to validate this idea. So we're saying, okay, 9,900 people a month are searching electric surfboard and it's a 21, which is an easy score to rank for keyword difficulty. Again, this isn't a keyword research video, but this score essentially takes into account all of the results that are on page one and it takes into account those websites domain authority, which is essentially how authoritative Google sees those websites, takes into account backlinks that point to those uh, articles or those, those websites on the front page, word count, all sorts of things. So basically with Growth Bar, at this stage, if you're just doing idea validation, what you're really looking for is search volume and then perhaps how difficult it is to rank for that term. Um, that's going to be if you're using organic 
search traffic as a means to sell your end product, but also just the keyword difficulty will give you an idea of how competitive the market is. Okay, so another thing you wanna look at would be kind of all these other related keywords. You can see what other keywords have volume and you can perhaps even get keywords with higher search intent. What search intent essentially means is what is the intent of the person searching? Are they intent on buying or are they just curious and wanna watch videos about the electric surfboard? So if they're intent on buying, they might do this keyword right here, which is electric hydrofile foil surfboard for sale. You can see the volume is much lower, but people searching that are probably much more likely to be wanting to buy a surfboard. So you really wanna capture those. So again, you kind of look up here to see who is ranking. This is a site with a very high DA, but you know, 45, 93, uh, 93 was Alibaba. So that's not, you know, that's maybe where you could import them from. Uh, this is a 13 DA, which, you know, that's pretty low. I feel like you could start a website and outrank them. So all this is to show that, you know, electric surfboard is a de decent one. There is some volume. Also, we're just using our brains. That was kind of the right brain idea of, you know, hey, this is a pretty cool new thing that I'm seeing out there more and more in the wild. I think it's gonna catch on. Are other people Googling this and are other people excited about that? And using Google and using a keyword research tool like Growth Bar, you can see how many other people are Googling this um, and you can kind of gauge how difficult it would be in the market to reach the front page of Google. So as you can tell, I come from a content marketing background. So my first step, honestly, if I was going to start an electric surfboard company, which would be pretty tight, brah, um, I would actually start a blog first. So I would start a blog all about electric surfboards because blogs take time to get traction. So if you start writing articles on electric surfboards, essentially you're gonna get visitors, organic visitors to your website so that when you're developing the surfboard in the background, when it's ready, you can launch it into an active market. Um, you know, developing an electric surfboard, I would imagine is pretty time consuming and pretty pricey. So in the meantime, you might as well be kind of uh, gaining a foothold, gaining some traction, set up a basic website, even if it's not your end brand name, even if you just set up, say, electricsurfboardsareawesome.com and kind of build that up with traffic. Once you launch your actual brand and your actual surfboard, what you could do is you could point the traffic from that website to your brand, or, you know, you could just build a blog on this subject. So if you started the blog, you know, you could refer people to other electric surfboards and ideally you get a cut of the sale. It's called affiliate marketing. Um, that is really, you know, the bread and butter of starting a blog, in my opinion, is affiliate sales. And using tools like Growth Bar, you can actually, you know, see how many people are searching for this, see how big of a market it is, and see how difficult it would be to capture that market using some sort of um, content marketing strategy and to gain an audience and to throw those ideas out into the world. Um, Speaking of affiliates, I'm actually an affiliate with Growth Bar, full disclosure. Uh, there is a link in the description if you like this video, if you want to support me and my dreams to start an electric surfboard company, you know, sign up through Growth Bar, through me. I actually know the owner. He's a, he's a great guy. Yeah, but all in all, you know, there are other t keyword research tools out there. Some are free. Some are much more expensive than Growth Bar. There's a free trial for Growth Bar. In the description, I'll also put a link to some other keyword research tools. If you check out my channel, I probably have a video that's more on keyword research and kind of starting a blog as opposed to this video, which is really just about validating your idea and doing, you know, one step further than a Google to get a little data behind your creative ideas and behind your entrepreneurial ideas. So you get this idea, you Google it, you see if demand is out there, and then you decide from there if it's time to take the first step, which again, for me, is creating a blog. So to find out how to create a blog and to learn everything about content marketing, check out my site, it's in the description. Uh, start using Growth Bar, it's an amazing tool. Start learning the game of Google, start creating content, or start building a product, start your online empire. If you need help, reach out to me. Lots of links in the description. I appreciate you watching, thank you so much. Thank you.